Hey, this is Johnny Mealy, volleyball coach here in Salt Lake City. I'm going to talk to you about how to block a volleyball. Again, one of the most uh, important things for a blocker uh, to do is to be ready. So ready position for a blocker, we want to make sure that the knees are bent. You want to make sure that your elbows are in, your hands are in front of your face, uh, in between the net and your face. A blocker needs to be ready to move, either ready to move to their left, ready to move to their right, as soon as they see the setter set the ball is when they react. So the blocker is ready in their ready position with their knees bent and the elbows in. When they block, a blocker wants to make sure that they jump straight up and straight down. We don't want to drift from one direction to the other. As a blocker jumps, we want to make sure that they jump, shrug their shoulders to get optimal height, penetrate over the net, make sure that their hands are nice and big. When we block, we want to make sure that our hands are pointing to the middle of the court. A lot of times players on the opposing team will try to hit the ball into the blocker's hands to try to make it go out of bounds. So it's important for a blocker's hands to be a little less than ball width apart facing the middle of the court on the opposing side. If a blocker has to move one way or the other, there's different footwork patterns. Uh, there's a few different patterns. I'm going to talk to you about two basic ones. First footwork, footwork pattern I want to talk to you about is the two-step shuffle. If a blocker is going to their left, they start with their left foot. If a blocker is going to the right, then they start with their right foot. If I'm blocking and I want to go to my left, the two-step shuffle, one step with the left, a closing step with the right, then the blocker will jump up. So a live look at that block would look like this. To the right, a two-step shuffle will look like this. If the set is pushed a little bit further out, and a two-step shuffle isn't going to cover, cover enough ground, blockers will utilize a swing blocking technique, which will generally use three steps. Again, a blocker will start with the foot of the direction they're going. If a blocker is going to the left, they start with their left foot. Another step with the right. They're going to close with their left foot. They're going to jump up and block. Going to the right, a blocker will start with their right foot. Again with the left, close with the right, jump up and block. A live look at that block would look something like this. To the right. Again, we don't want to drift from one way to the other because that takes out other blockers. It's important to jump straight up and down. This is Johnny Neely, volleyball coach here in Salt Lake City. I talk to you about how to block a volleyball.